So this is the river, the part of the river that we live on. And it's a very, very stagnant part of the river. This is just basically a really, really big pond. And as you can see, it's got cattails galore. There is one problem with the cattails, is that they're so thick here, we can't get a boat in. Um, and they're quite tall. I mean, this is about six feet. And that's just from, you know, where I'm standing on the dock, which is about a foot above the river. And that is, well, it's deep. For instance, off the end of this dock, this is probably six or seven feet deep, technically, but it's mostly muck, so it's about 18 inches, 12 to 18 inches before you hit muck, and the rest of it is just thick, gooey mud. And, uh, yeah. So the plan is, we want to take some of these out. I don't want to take all of them out, I just want to get enough out of here so that we can have a place for boats to go in and out and probably some place over here to play and maybe have dog space. So I'd kind of like to move this out and off in this direction and sort of cordon off a little place that we can have as a, like an empty pond. I don't know if that will work or not because it's a lot of work. So I've been in this water um, with chest waders and it's, it's very, very difficult to maneuver. Um, I don't know if you can see that rise it goes up the angle of that bank on the river. That continues, it's a little less less sharp than that, but it goes pretty deep here pretty quickly. Uh, I mean, I don't think I could touch bottom here if I, if I jumped in. Uh, I mean, I could definitely hit muck, because I have done that before. But, so I wanted to show you what it's like trying to pull these up. And there's two parts to it. This, this comes pretty easy but it's full of roots, you know, that's pretty much what the muck looks like. But the cattails are a little different, so they, uh, they form together into a mass, and that is uh, one that I just pulled out. This is not the entire thing, I just pulled this out from the root body. And the dogs love these. But you can see how these two are joined. Let me see if I can bring up. Nope. Okay, there we go. So I got another one here. Sissy, sissy, poop. All right, you want to pull that up? All right, Sissy's being very healthy, but uh, yeah, you can see how it pulled up, <laughs> pulled up several. <sighs> so as they grow, um, they send out roots and then they leave these little nodules that they grow out of. So. All of these cattails are essentially one big organism that's all woven together underneath with roots kind of like this. They're, uh, they're very large roots, probably somewhere between three quarters of an inch and an inch in diameter, and they're very tenacious. And pulling them up by hand is incredibly difficult. There's also the issue with the steepness of the slope. I mean, you know, we're not going to get a uh, an excavator down here uh, to try and, you know, pull this stuff up. So we're we're kind of in that space of there is no heavy equipment that we can really get unless we bring a dredge up from the riverside, which uh, would be exceedingly expensive. So I came up with an idea. So if you're a semi-regular watcher, you've probably seen the drag rake already. I think I posted it a couple videos ago. Um, and this is sort of the culmination of all that work and um, a first wet run, so to speak. 
All right, I have these four drilled for mounting the winch. And I added these for some extra strength underneath. I've got some uh, big screw eyes that are going to go here for some chain mounting to keep this stable. So this is going to be bearing most of the load of the actual winch pulling, not the cart itself. And finally, I got this mounted. That was a serious pain, but that is nice and locked in now. I'm going to end up mounting this up here and, you know, do something with the wiring. I need to be able to bolt down the battery and the charger. Uh, but I also have these um, steel braces locked into the plate here so that any pulling we can put some chains on that and hook it up to a tree or some sort of an anchor so that the cart doesn't taking the brunt of any kind of shearing force for the amount that this thing is going to pull. I'm thinking that the 5,000 pound winch is going to be plenty to be pulling you know weeds out of the out of the river. Um, I guess we'll find out. I'm thinking that if we're running into something where we're pulling more than this thing is capable of, we've got another problem entirely. So I got the battery, you know, sitting on charge right now. It looks like it's pretty, pretty charged. So I'm thinking, I don't know, might just be able to pull it off. But I'm going to keep it attached for now and just keep it topped up. Because hopefully I can get that done tomorrow. And then maybe we can test it this weekend. That would be awesome. All right, that's it for today. The solenoid is mounted, or relay, or whatever you want to call that. And I even have the battery, well, strapped in with bungee cords. So this is ready to go. I don't have the charger strapped in, because I figure that we can remove as needed. But uh, yeah, it's ready. Things hard to back up. Yeah. Yeah. No mirror. There's no rear view mirror. That's why I was trying to kind of. I can hear it. I was about ready to pick up. Direct you on the other end. Yeah, it's it's really because it's it's so tight at the turning radius. Hold it. That's what I was gonna do. Just have you back up straight. That was so loud. <laughs> well, yeah, it's an engine. It's gonna be loud. That's okay, sissy. We're not gonna go over there yet. Up. Yeah, Harbor Freight yes, winches use cheap cable. Yeah. And of course the dogs are healthy.
I want to let's let's get out to that first uh, first metal pole. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, you can't that. Uh. Is that it? Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's try it here. Well, go ahead and start the winch. I want to see what this does down here. Yep. Unlock it again. We're gonna pull it back out. I'm gonna empty this and see if I can't get it to set in more. Watch out, doggies. Move dogs. Move dogs. It's okay. We are very curious. Well, Do yeah. we pull up a turtle? What did we pull up? What's hiding under there? Come on, sissy. Move ice. It's just a bunch Move of stinky ice. stuff. Move, girl. All right. What we got over there, Mike? Oh, it's heavy. It's got shit all over it. If you throw it upside down, it's just come off, though. So. Yep. Watch out, you can eat it later, dog. Yep. All right. I'm guessing it's not going to last. Well, I think our thing is going to break. Yep. What's going to break? The, the rig. The rig? Yeah. Did you see anything hey. bent? Watch, baby, I don't want to yank you in. Stay away. <laughs> Hold on, it's pulling the fucking lawnmower too. Uh, let's try it again. It's pulling that lawnmower. Yeah. It's moving or it's backing up? No, it's moving the whole lawnmower. Okay. Yeah, how do we get it down here? Yeah, how do we get it down here? Yeah, that just it it absolutely all, twisted. We can make a video about a tractor rolling into the river. Absolutely <laughs> twisted that whole thing. That's crazy. Dude, that's nuts. Yeah. Get a good look at it here. Before and after. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, that whole bar twisted. Around. That'd give you a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well the... Uh, we need a thicker bar? Yeah, we... we we know that the principle works. Absolutely. Great yes. idea. Very dirty job. Yeah, well, it's it's going to be. You will smell no matter great what. after doing this. Oh, yep. yeah. Yep. That is absolutely insane. It'll great concept. Going no, I'm kidding. It's going to work. I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. I mean, it cleared. It cleared a good feet, a good couple feet of it. Yeah. I'm impressed. I still think you're a genius. Yeah. Awesome. Well, yeah, at, least, awesome, at least I got some awesome awesome concept. Yes. Wow. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe, people. This man is full of surprises. We ready to reel it in, Mike? Yeah. Go, go. Okay. Lock. Go. Well, this is this is a game for dogs. Yeah. See? Force the bar itself. We can still use spikes like that. Yeah. Maybe make a wider one. If we're gonna have a pole on the end of it. Right. And make a heavier duty one. This concept is a little thin. You see? So. It's somebody's birthday. Oh! 
you know, for dogs for watering plants. I think the dogs could chew on the end of it though. Yeah, <laughs> well, they haven't liked it so far. Uh, maybe a flavor. Sissy butt. Sissy. Isis. Oh, almost. These are all green, Lizzie. What? Yeah. They are green? green. It's Poopa. Poopa wanna try and catch? Yay! Poopa caught! Poopa! Poopa! <laughs> she caught it. Poopa! Yeah. Poopa! And she was surprised. Poopa! Ow! Sissy did it. Sissy. Sissy. Should we get one for Sissy? Oh, hey, Sissy. Daddy. Hey, let's try. Come on. Sissy, Sissy girl. What is that, Isis, huh? What is that? She likes the water. But... Yeah, I yep. do. Sissy, what? Why? Here, catch. Oh! Ah. She caught it in her mouth and it bounced out. It's a tiny one! Here, come on. Come on. Whoa, green! Piper, Piper! Let's breathe. Here, come on. Yay! Piper. No! Piper. Oh, Piper did not get Piper. it. Piper. I'm going to try two at a time. Oh, Sissy did not get it. Oh! Puppies get put away? Nope. All nope. puppies. Oh! Puppies. Good catch, Popo. Yep. Our dogs are put away? Yep. Almost. Papa, Pip, Poopa mixed it. Oh, Pippa mixed it. Look. Sissy Bat, want one? Hmm? You want? You want? Here. Yeah. Yay, Sissy caught. Okay, here. Get one. Try to throw it to Daddy. I'm going to see if I can catch it without popping it and throw it back to you. Okay, I'm, gonna shoot, like I'm shooting video on this one. That's okay. Oh, yeah. Nice. You got to catch it. <laughs> oh. Good catch. Here, your turn. You got to catch it. Okay. No! Poopa wants to play dog in the middle. I'm going to throw it at you. Do it. Oh! Fake. <laughs> 